Hello, everybody. Welcome to RossMertech.com. How you doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully, you guys are doing well today, too. Now, in this video, I have something really exciting to show you guys. Now, I finally completed the project that I was working on, the one I told you about in my last video. And it's basically a deep research model that uses DeepSeek R1 as its brains. And it creates an agent that does all the research for you. Now, if you guys don't know, Deep Research was released by OpenAI. They charge you $200 a month to use their model. And I was able to create one using a uh, using DeepSeek. And you could run it locally, DeepSeek R1. And I'll show you which version of DeepSeek. So uh, there's a repo that I created with all the instructions and the code and everything. And all you have to do really is um, make sure you download DeepSeek. You got to download it from Olama. Uh, make sure you download Olama first or install Olama, then do all those necessary steps. Then you could follow the instructions in the repo. But this is the model that I chose to use, and it's this distilled version, the 7 billion one. So, yeah, so the way it works is um, the model has access to programming like Python. And it access to and the model also has access to like the search engines like Google and it has access to a Google API and everything is free by the way. What it does is you give it a search and you tell it what to deep search. Then it runs a search, it goes to the through Google and goes through every uh, page in the first few pages and it scrapes them, gets all the useful information. It it tells the user whether or not the information it's getting is useful. All the useful information it gets, it combines, and then the AI model, uh, then the AI model goes through all that information, then writes you a report. That report gets saved in a text file, and that text file is saved in the same directory as your program file. I'm gonna open up my VS Code here, and um, you're gonna need uh, a few things. You're gonna need APIs from Google. You have to have a Google API a search API. All the instructions are in that repo. The repo will be linked in the description. I just want to show you guys a test of this right now, how it works. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to type right here. What is the best cat food? It's asking it what the best cat food is. It's going to do its thing. This search, uh, the search that I did last to test this out, it took about 30 minutes. So depending on how uh, you know how complicated your search is, it could take really long or it could be a couple of minutes, it could be even 30 seconds, depending on how much information it has to go through. So what it does is it takes uh, whatever you typed in and it figures out the uh, a search qu uh, questions to ask uh, Google. It's ask Google that question, it searches for a specific thing. Once it finds these things, it goes through the website, it scrapes the websites, gets all the useful information from the website, stores it, does this to uh, as many websites as it needs. Then it gives a score to each uh, website, basically. It tells a yes or no. If the information is relevant, it'll say yes. If not, then it'll just discard it. Once it gets all the information that it needs, it'll compile it together. Then the AI model, which is DeepSeek right now, will go through the information and write you a detailed report. And that detailed report will be printed on the terminal, but also be printed in the text file and stored in the same directory that uh, your program file is saved in. So this might take a while. Oh, I forgot to type in uh, how many uh, iterations. So I'm gonna type in one, hit enter. I'm gonna stop the video, then come back once it's finished. All right, guys, so now this is finished uh, doing its deep search. This took about 45 minutes and yours could take a lot longer. Now, you know it's finished when you see your cursor come back up. Mine again took 45 minutes and you'll know it's finished once it prints out a final report. You'll see it here in the program files. This is final report that text. So that's the way I coded this. And the way the program works is basically uh, once the program starts, it asks you for a, uh, a key, key key term or a keyword sequence that you, you, you want researched. You type that in, then you type in how many uh, sequences do you want to do? And then it, once you hit run, it starts the the AI that's running this is DeepSeek R1 and it's run locally using Olama. You have to install Llama. And um, basically what it does is it goes through uh, Google. It uses the Google API. 
and it goes through Google. It goes through all the relevant web pages, scrapes all the relevant data from those web pages, all the useful data it saves, the ones that are not useful, it discards. Once it gets enough data, and uh, that it thinks it, 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 once it gets enough data, then the program will stop scraping. Then the AI model, which is DeepSeek, will uh, go through all the data, then make a detailed report. That report will get saved into here. That file is called final report, and it will be stored in the same directory as your program files. And um, again, this took me like 45 minutes. So right now I'm going to open up that file. I asked it, like, what's the best cat food? So it took like 45 minutes for it to run. And once it was done, this is what uh, printed out. And yeah, it, it listed cat foods by... Um, by rank, I guess first is the best. And then uh, it got up to number five and then it did some other considerations and it gave me a conclusion. So very cool. Another thing I want to say is this program is completely free. Uh, the only thing you would ever need to pay for is um, if you ever go over your 100 searches in your Google search API, there's a daily search limit of 100. If you go over that 100, then you have to pay. But uh, I, I don't see you guys going over that 100 search limit. So this thing is pretty much free. OpenAI is charging uh, for their version of this for like $200 a month, basically. And it's and it's not open source. And it, this is all being run from your uh, computer locally. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. This is it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. I'm Rustin from RustinBertech.com, and thank you guys for watching. <laughs>